Welcome to the St. Francis Prep Virtual College Fair. We're excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. Uh, my name is Matt and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so please be sure to sign up for more. The presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com SFP. And now I'd like to turn things over to our first presenter, St. Bonaventure University. Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany Capella Barlow. I'm the admissions representative from St. Bonaventure University. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our school. So I'm gonna share my screen really quickly. And so I'm gonna go into center mode. Um, a little bit about who we are. We are Franciscan University out in Western New York, about an hour south of Buffalo, New York. Um, we have about 2,422 undergraduate and graduate students with little under 2,000 undergraduate students. Um, we have about 50 majors and 46 minors, um, relatively easy to both ma double major and major and minor at our university. Um, we have a 12 to one student to faculty ratio. I mean, what that means uh, is basically not only small class sizes of about 16 to 22 students um, per class, but also it's great opportunity for you to be able to connect with your peers as well as to connect with your professors. We have great opportunities for both on-campus and off-campus internships and jobs, both during the school year and during the summer months. And we have about 97% of our graduates that are employed or and move on to graduate school after six months of graduating from St. Bonaventure. We are the nation's first Franciscan university. Um, even though we are a Franciscan university, I would say only about 50% of our students are Catholic. Um, we accept students from all denominations and all faiths. So we are not requiring students necessarily to you know, participate in any services or you know, attend mass or attend any, you know, be a part of our service on campus. What I would like to say about being Franciscan is that they're kind of like the crunchy hippies of Catholic faith. Um, they're very fun, they're very open-minded. Um, and so being at St. Bonaventure with a liberal arts core will definitely help you to kind of see different ways of thinking. We are rated um, number three for best value in the North. Um, and what that means is that even though we are a private university and have you know, higher cost of tuition than maybe a state university might have, um, we are able to make that very affordable for students um, with a combination of merit scholarships and financial aid. Here are some of our academic programs. I know it's a lot to take in, so you, know, you can look at it briefly, um, but you can see here that we have our School of Business, our School of Education, our School of Communication, the Sciences, Liberal Arts, Performing and Visual Arts, and then our School of Health Professions. If you're interested in going into one of the medical fields, we also have combined degree programs. So with that, you would be applying to St. Bonaventure, but also be guaranteed a spot into one of these schools over here to attend for either medical school, um, osteopathic medicine, um, physical therapy, um, as well as uh, dental medicine. So whatever you might be thinking about doing, um, you know, there are options uh, as well there. And then, you know, as long as you're taking the required courses and you know, meeting the standards to attend one of those graduate schools, you'll be able to attend um, with all of that. I'm just gonna skip through some of this because I'm limited on time. Um, so one of our key factors on campus um, is our Career Preparedness Center. So we help to our students to connect with not only our alumni connections all over the country and all over the world, but also help you to with, 
figure out how to write a resume, how to write a cover letter, doing mock interviews, and having spaces for that on campus. So being able to be out of your dorm room and not having you know, a dorm bed behind you for an interview, um, it's a place that students can connect and on campus and ask for career advice, graduate school advice, anything that they really want to. Our student life on campus, roughly about 80% of our students are in either some sort of intramural club sport or recreation center activity. Uh, we have over 80 clubs and organizations on campus. And during your first year at St. Bonaventure, you'll be taking a course called SBU 101. So helping you to transition to college. We know that this is your first time away from home, living in a new place that might be super far from where you grew up and at being able to have peer coaching. So another student who has gone through the same process that you have, um, being able to help you transition a little bit easier, someone to turn to who knows the ropes a little bit better. So our service is one of our really important factors at St. Bonaventure. We have all of these clubs here that focus on service. One of the ones I would like to note is called Enactus. It's a club on campus that works um, specifically with the Bahama, Bahamian community. So every year in January for about 10 days, St. Bonaventure business professors take students down to the Bahamas, roughly about 50 to 75 students and work with local community members, local community centers, putting in um, new computers, working with local businesses, as well as working with the Special Olympics Committee. So there's a lot of opportunities to give back internationally as well as locally. So for our freshman admissions, there's, we're on rolling admissions. So we are accepting applications at this point. Um, there's only one deadline, which is to apply by May 1st. Our application is free and you'll hear back from us in about two to three weeks, depending on when you send in your application. We are test optional this year. So as long as you're not applying to one of our pre-medical programs, we do not require test scores. Your personal essay will be the essay from our, the common application. And we only require one letter of recommendation. You're welcome to send more, whether it be from a guidance counselor, coach, teacher, or outside community member that you worked closely with. We look at your weighted average, as well as any AP or IB exams that you've taken in high school. So if you have any questions, you can feel free to send me a chat um, and I'd be happy to answer anything that you might have. Great, thanks very much, Tiffany. Uh, next up is St. Francis College. What's going on? Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Freddie. I work for the Office of Admissions for St. Francis College. I'm gonna throw up a few slides in a minute, but I really wanna get to know, first and let you get to know St. Francis College. I graduated from St. Francis College in 2017. And it gave me the opportunity that changed my life so much so that I came back to work for the Office of Admissions. And there's some key differentiating factors that chose me to go to St. Francis College and I wanna go through those with you. Some of those factors is going to be our location. Location is key. We're located in downtown Brooklyn. New York City is our campus. Brooklyn is our backyard. Our location in downtown Brooklyn means that we are easily accessible by almost all major trains and major public transportation. Since the majority of students that come to St. Francis College are commuter students, we chose our location strategically to make sure that we could provide an environment that was easy and commutable. So that was number one. In that, we've created a personalized approach to education at St. Francis College. We have a 16 to one student to faculty ratio that allows us to provide an individualized approach to education, a school where students or known by their name, not by their student ID number. Right, that was something that was key for me. I wanted a small institution and I got that at St. Francis College so that I could be worked with and mentored to make sure that I could be driven by my dreams. St. Francis College is known as the small college of big dreams and that's helped by our personalized approach. Again, that 16 to one student to faculty ratio allows us to work with students every step of the way. And with that student to faculty ratio, we offer 70 majors and minors to make sure that any programs that you're interested in, your majors and minors are being accompanied with that personalized approach to education. Alongside that, we're also a division one school. 
We offer 21 Division I sport teams at St. Francis College to make sure that you can combine your athletics with your education and 40 clubs and organizations on campus to create the well-rounded student. So whether you're coming for your education, you're playing on one of our Division I teams, or you're part of a club or organization on campus, we can make sure that there's something to help make sure you belong. Within our admissions process, we offer immediate decisions for students who've applied at least two days beforehand, and you come in with your transcripts as early as fall of 2022, we are gonna be offering immediate decisions for students to help facilitate that growth in you and to let us know you one-on-one. -on -one. We wanna to get to know the students we welcome into our campus. So when you're able to, you can come visit St. Francis College in person or virtually. We will meet you where you're at to make sure we can help your growth and ours. Now, I will share my screen. A couple things about our affordability. St. Francis College offers merit-based scholarships based off your GPA and need-based scholarships based off of your family's income. The income bracket is from zero to up to $300,000 incomes are eligible. For that as well, give me one second, trying to share my screen. We have our scholarship day. Scholarship day, um, current slide, there we go. So if you see, we have a scholarship day coming in January, any student with an 85 GPA or higher who's accepted to St. Francis College is eligible to compete for additional scholarship up to a full tuition scholarship. That is our financial aid regimen for students. So any of you with an 85 GPA or higher, you are actually able to compete for up to a full tuition scholarship by coming to our scholarship day in January. As well, we offer a McGuire scholarship for students. A McGuire scholarship has the same criteria, 85 GPA, who's been accepted to St. Francis College with an adjusted gross income of $125,000 or less. So along with our honors programs, things to keep in mind, our nursing program is one of the only programs we have at St. Francis College that requires SAT or ACT scores that does require 1050 or better. I said we are test optional as a school before, but I have to make sure you're aware that our SAT and ACT scores are required for our nursing program. How you apply is you apply on sfc.edu backslash apply or through the Common App and you submit your transcripts to transcripts at sfc.edu. If you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me. My name is Freddie. I'm going to be visiting St. Francis Prep in the near future, and I look forward to meeting with all of you. Great. Thanks very much, Freddie. Uh, next up is St. Joseph's College. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sam. I am the Associate Director of Admissions at St. Joseph's College, Brooklyn. My pronouns are she, her. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background information about St. Joseph's College in Brooklyn, we are located in Clinton Hill, which is a small historical district located between Fort Greene and Bed-Stuy. It's about a 15-minute walk from where the Barclays Center is, so it's usually a good frame of reference for telling you where we are. Um, we have about 1,000 undergraduate students, so it's a very small campus class size. Is average is about 14. Our student to faculty ratio is 10 to 1. And some of our popular majors include nursing, which is a four year direct entry program, child, child study and special education, which does provide four teaching certificates with graduation. So two for early childhood, two for childhood, both gen ed and special ed. Um, some other popular majors are business administration, biology, psychology, and criminal justice. But we have over 50 different programs, including all of our concentrations that we offer for our different majors. We um, are a rolling admissions school. So our admissions um, requirements are obviously your high school transcript. We're going to be looking for about an 80 average or above. We'll be using your unweighted average. One letter of recommendation, you can obviously send more if you have more than one, uh, but we do require at least one from either a teacher or a counselor. We are test optional this year. Um, if you do plan on sending test scores, I recommend sending them if you have a 980 or above. If you have below that, it won't benefit you if you submit your scores. If you have a 980 or above, it's honestly up to you whether or not you'd like to submit it. We try to weight your GPA with your SAT score so that students who are submitting and students who are not submitting are rated about the same because you do a holistic review of your application. Um, in addition to that, we require your personal essay, which can be one of the common app prompts or one of your own design. We do have an optional writing piece as well, and then including a list of your extracurriculars or a resume. Um, we do have an application fee of $25, but I'll put the 
fee waiver code in the chat once I'm done speaking. Uh, we do offer scholarships for our students, which are merit-based. They started approximately in 85 or above. Like I said, we do a holistic review of your application. So all of the factors that you're submitting, everything on your application is going to contribute to that, uh, that scholarship consideration. But about an 85 or above will put you in scholarship range. And about a 90 or above will put you in our top tier scholarship range, which starts at $17,000. Um, all of the detailed information about that can be found on the website. I'll also give you my contact info if you have any specific questions. We do also offer a Catholic high school grant for students who don't qualify for any merit-based scholarships. So since you're graduating from St. Francis, if you don't qualify for any of those merit-based scholarships with the higher GPA, you can qualify for that grant. We are a member of Division Three Athletics in the Skyline Conference. We have 13 D3 teams. If you are interested in playing sports for St. Joseph's College Brooklyn, what you can do is go to our athletics page and click on the recruit me link on there and that'll connect you with a coach for whichever sport you're interested in. We have men's and women's basketball, volleyball, tennis, soccer, and cross country, as well as men's baseball and then women's softball and swimming. We have housing. It is off campus in um, Brooklyn Heights. So it was the St. George Hotel. It's now just the St. George residence owned by educational housing services. So there's a few other colleges that actually utilize that building. You would live with another St. Joseph's College student, but you actually would be within the building with other college students from other Brooklyn colleges. So you have doubles and triples available. Pricing uh, varies depending on the kind of room that you're getting. Again, detailed information is on the website. I won't bore you with all of the details. Uh, that is available if you're interested in housing, even though you are living locally. Uh, most of our students do commute um, because we, most of our students are from Brooklyn and Queens, but if you are interested in getting a quote unquote full college experience with living in the dorms, that is available as well. Um, and finally, just one thing, one other thing to note, our open house is going to be on Sunday, November 14th. Um, I'll also put information about that in the chat. It is going to be in person. Um, Hopefully, uh, as of now, we are planning for it to be fully in person, obviously with COVID restrictions, but um, I'll put information about that in the chat. And we're also having a virtual one if you're interested in attending that as well. And we have on-campus tours um, basically throughout the week as well as virtual tours. So any way you're interested in connecting with us, you can set up a meeting or a tour. Either way, you can get additional information about the college. So um, like I said, I'll pop in the chat my info, um, information about the open house, and that fee waiver code for our application. And if you do have any questions throughout the presentation, obviously put them in the Q&A as well, and I'd be more than happy to answer them tonight. All right, thank you, everyone. Excellent, thank you very much. Um, so next up is St. Thomas Aquinas College. And you're on mute. Sorry, my name is Samuel Augusti. I'm just going to share my screen real quick. So this is St. Thomas Aquinas College. We are located in Sparkle, New York, um, which is about an hour away, uh, give or take, with traffic. Um, just a little bit about myself. I actually graduated from St. Thomas Aquinas College um, in 2020, so I'm a recent graduate. Um, so I was a well-rounded student, so I know about the sports, so the activities on campus. So I'm not just saying this, um, but I actually lived it, lived through it as well. Um, so we have three major schools on our campus. So we have School of Education, School of Business, and School of Arts and Science. Um, we are a small set of schools, so we have about 1,500 students on our campus, which means we only have about 30 no more than 30 students in a classroom. Um, and, the, and then the more in depth you get into your major, the less students that you do have in um, the classroom setting. Our resident life, we have on-campus living for all four years and we also allow freshmen to have cars and it is free of charge. And also you can have your cars for all four years. Um, we have uh, a few different um, dorming or living situation, I should say, but we are not like the typical uh, college where there's it's a whole hallway with 30 rooms. Um, we have sweet style dorms. So in the McNeil's Commons, we have sweet style rooms. Um, Aquinas Village, we have townhouse style uh, rooms, which is um, similar to this. And then we have in our Fitz, uh, Patrick Village, we have apartment style rooms. Um, and then we also have two laundry facilities as well. 
So in the dining hall, we have a few eating areas on our campus. Um, we have a buffet style, um, which is, you know, a buffet. Um, and then we have our home style station and then a deli station as well. And then we have our, in the Spartan Grill, we have the smoothie machine, Starbucks, ice cream options, uh, different grill options, and a deli and a coffee shop as well, and a, another coffee shop and tea co shop as well. We have tons of our of uh, student activities on our campus. So as I said, we are located in Rockland uh, County. So um, first, we're close to the Bronx and the city area. So we're about 30 minutes away from the city. Um, we're five minutes away from New Jersey, 40 minutes away from upstate. So um, there's a lot of things to do out of campus, but also um, in campus as well. So um, we have over 30 clubs on our campus. Um, we have SGA that does different activities on our campus. Um, and then we have many trips all over New York City. So we do Broadway game, Broadway shows, sport games, museums, concerts, and even seasonal um, seasonal trips. So Fry Fest is around the corner for uh, people that know that ha usually happens in Six Flags. Stack actually pays for you, um, pays for your ticket and actually provides transportation to and from there. Um, and then we also do uh, food trucks throughout the semester, um, especially with COVID, it, it, it definitely is has been working. Um, we provide food trucks and outdoor movie nights throughout the semester. We have three major schools on our campus, School of Arts and Science, School of Business, and School of Education. And with all of that, we have different programs that go into that as well. You could always double major or just major or major have a major and a minor. So we are division two. So we have over uh, 20 clubs, I mean, 20 sports, I'm sorry. So we have basketball, football, track and field. Um, you know, eSports, which is one of our newest um, uh, Division II sports as well. Um, you could, if you need help with, recru with the recruiting process, my contact, I'll send my contact information uh, on the chat box. Um, and, you know, if you just want to actually just play and try something new in college, you can actually do that as well. Uh, our financial aid option is our or our cost of living is forty nine thousand um, dollars. That's with tuition room and tu tuition room and board. Um, but one hundred percent of our students never pay the full price. So um, from your academic scholarship. Uh, scholarships that ranges from seven thousand to twenty three thousand, and also from um, you know FAFSA, Pell, and Tab grants, and everything, you will not be paying close to that. And I can attest to that because I was a student as well. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to uh, um, you know uh, contact me. I will put my chat, my information below. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks very much. Uh, next up is Mount Saint Mary College. Hello, everyone. Thank you for jumping on. Um, we're so excited to virtually connect with you. I am Kayla Seno. I am the admissions counselor here at the college. And I have the pleasure of having Christina join me too today. Hello, everyone. Thanks for hopping on. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. So let's chat about the Mount, if this will. Oh, that'd be awesome. Okay, so we have about 1,700 undergraduate students. <clears throat> about 75% of our first year students do live on campus. You are welcome to commute if you would like to. We encourage that students live on um, really their first year because we feel like that is really the best way to get engaged, oh, yeah. to get engaged, to just meet roommates, um, be able to interact with different clubs and sports teams on campus. And whatever a student decides to do freshman year, they don't have to do sophomore year or junior year. They can totally switch. They can commute one year, they can resign on campus another year. So that's kind of a nice little perk that we can offer. 25% of our students are transfers. So we do welcome Transfers in, um, we normally get a lot of interested students around the local areas within the community college. So however you're interested to applying um, to Mount St. Mary, we definitely encourage. We have over 50 academic programs here at Mount St. Mary. And our top three that we also have a master's program in is education, business, and nursing. So our average class size is 20. So what really all of you listeners are most likely um, already familiar with 
at the high school level, you have about a 15 to 20, probably um, at max students in your classroom. That's really what you're gonna get here at Mount St. Mary as well. So our faculty really get to know you for your name, right? Not just your number. Um, they get to learn your strengths and your weaknesses and they really just are so open with um, office hours and having you come and check them out during their um, department meetings. They're just so inviting, which is awesome. I actually graduated here in 2017. Um, so it's just such an awesome experience, especially at the college level to be able to know that you have such intimate relationships with your faculty. We have, this is a photo actually of our students doing some research. These are our um, pre-med students over in the Hudson River. So we kind of just like to show that photo. We have 21 sports teams on campus, okay? We are division three. So within the NCAA, we are pretty competitive. Um, we cannot provide scholarship. Um, however, because we are a private institution, we do have other pockets of funding that we're able to um, help students with that I can kind of dive into in a little bit. We have tons of student life. Events are constantly happening on campus. In the fall, this is a picture of our bonfire. Our students have a fall fest, which is awesome. In the spring, we have spring weekend, which a performer comes. And um, we really just have a concert, a carnival. We're in the city. We're seeing the Rockettes. We're seeing Broadway plays. We're up at West Point watching the Army-Navy football games. Um, we're only about 25 minutes or so from West Point. We're about an hour and a half um, or so from the city, just to kind of get a little familiar with the Newburgh location. We are a Catholic affiliated institution. However, we do welcome all faiths. Um, so the only things that we require in terms of being a Catholic affiliated institution is that students have to take a religion and a philosophy course on campus. We have awesome service. We're always doing community service in the local community. We're always having food drives, especially during the holidays to help all of our Newburgh families. We have awesome, awesome support. So as a freshman, students are gonna be paired with an academic coach or an academic counselor, as well as a career coach and, and an academic advisor. So you're really gonna get all the support that you need here at the Mount, okay? So whether that be time management skills, social skills, if you're having maybe trouble with a roommate or if you just need to like sit and chat with somebody, they're unbelievable. Um, they're always in their office and they're always so inviting. Study abroad, we're hoping that we can start back up, but this was definitely a highlight that we were able to share with students. Um, we've traveled to so many different countries, New Zealand, Ireland, Italy, it's endless. So hopefully we can start that back up for you guys. Internships, co-ops, job shadows. So what I mentioned before is that we'll pair you up with a career coach. So really every single major is required to have an internship. So what that means is that we require our students to get hands-on experience in the real world um, to make sure that you're really loving what you're doing, right? We wanna make sure that you're on track and you're still definitely interested in your major um, that you started freshman, maybe sophomore year. So that's really super important at the college level. 90% of our students are employed within their um, field of interest within six months, which is awesome. Making some pretty great salaries. So I'm just trying to keep a look at the time here. Of course, I didn't look when I first started, but um, so just quickly how we apply, right? So you can apply through the Common App or the MSMC application. Um, Christina can throw in the application fee waiver code. So you do not have to spend the $45 on the fee, which is pretty on the application, which is awesome. We only look for transcripts this year. We are SAT, ACT optional, and you're welcome to submit in a letter of recommendation. We really look at about an 87 GPA and we are rolling admissions. So once you're um, able to apply and you get your transcript sent over to us, we are able to really give you a decision. Um, it says within two to four weeks, but it's actually much quicker than that. Thanks guys. Oh my goodness, how do I stop sharing my screen? There we go.
Great. Thank you very much, Kayla. And next up is College of Mount St. Vincent. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Uh, and thank you to all my fellow facilitators. Uh, I know travel season among us, so we're back to being busy and uh, contacting with all of our students. So my name is Andrew Creel. Um, I'm actually a graduate from the College of Mount St. Vincent, similar to the other facilitators that were here. I am from the Bronx, New York, and I ended up going to a college that was only 20 minutes away from me that I had no idea about. Uh, we are the right place on the river. We recently just got a new president this past January, and she has deemed us this new slogan, and it's the perfect slogan for us, because literally whatever you want to do in, in college, we have available for our students. And as we go throughout the presentation, you see my email. Feel free to email me any questions or ask me anything else. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, whenever I present to students, I always tell them these are fast facts. So pick one that stands out to you that thinks that, that you think you could find out more information on. So like, for example, we're the number six most diverse college in the nation. We get students from 28 different states, seven different countries, and it really makes a, a different community here at CMSV that ends up having over 1,900 total students in enrollment. So the total student population is around 1,900, and the good thing about that is um, it's a small community, but also you'll know people by name. Professors will know you. People in the cafeteria will know you, and your coaches will know you as well. So if that is something that is important to you and looking in colleges, then Mount St. Vincent may be the right place on the river for you. Uh, another thing as well, we have a 70 acre gated campus. Usually when I tell students we're in the Bronx, they're like, how do you have a campus? And for us, we're located right along the Hudson River in the Northwest section of Riverdale. And that entire campus is totally beautiful. And you'll see more renovations that we've had this past summer. Another thing with exceptional quality, we also have an authentic value. Since we are a private institution, uh, opposed to SUNY or CUNY schools, we are more expensive, but 100% of our students receive some type of scholarship and financial aid. So you see our tuition there and our room and board, it averages out to about $52,000. As an alum from this college, I did loans and I also got scholarship and financial aid, and I ended up paying around $11,000 per year because of my financial situation. A reminder to all of you, FAFSA opens up this Friday, and if you wanted to add Mount St. Vincent to your FAFSA application, our school code is 002703, okay? And TAP is the Tuition Assistance Program, and that's 0130, and you can add us right there, okay? Next, scholarship opportunities, we give it based on your GPA. So for example, if you take three sciences at St. Francis Prep, such as biology, earth science, and anatomy and physiology, I would take all three of those grades add them up, divide it by three, and I would get something called a recalculated GPA. I'm gonna do that for all of your classes and then add and divide again, and that would be your new recalculated cumulative GPA. Wherever you fall along our scholarship, our scholarship tier is what you will receive. So students who are top level students, tier one will receive 27,500. And if you struggled a little bit throughout high school, that's totally okay. You would receive around $15,000 in scholarship. Along with merit-based scholarships, we have something called premier scholarships. These are our top premier scholarships awarded for students who do community service, want a career in writing, or some type of Filipino descent. And you see on the next one, uh, admission requirements. So if you can take a picture of this, just so you have it after, what we look for is an 85 recalculated GPA and also a SAT ACT of about 1050 or 20. SAT ACT is optional for this next year of admission, but if you want it to consider for more scholarship money, you could definitely send it in to us. There is no problem with that. We're free on the Common Apps, no fee waivers or anything to pay. Common App or CMSV app. We need a college essay and we also need your high school transcript. You request your high school transcript to be sent to me or to our admissions office at the end of this slide, okay? Other important information, once you apply either rolling decision, rolling decision or early action, uh, you will also be asking for other information. So if you're selected for a premier program, we're gonna need that by February 15th. And also FAFSA, make sure you get it done earlier than later. It's also February 15th. Uh, next, academics. We have over 70 different majors at Mount St. Vincent, and we really, we really try to prepare students for uh, a career and not just a job. We want our students to be happy in wherever they go after Mount St. Vincent. Uh, we also have something called Mount Pathways. So we have HOP, which is the Higher Education Opportunity Program. You probably heard it as other things such as EOP. And we also have MAP and TRIO. MAP was an institutional created program and TRIO serves first generation, low income or students with any IEPs in high school as well. So if any of those apply to you, you can email me and I'll give you more information. We've also renovated so much on campus. Uh, we've had a business and trading lab, nursing simulation labs, and we actually just built a new dormitory after our alum, Cortisone Aquino, which is open this fall and it has two new nursing simulation labs on the bottom two floors. 
Also, we are partners in learning. If you're coming to Mount St. Vincent, we want to serve you with the best education possible. At Mount St. Vincent, you get two advisors. You get an academic advisor and you get an OXI advisor. Academic advisor basically makes sure that you're taking the correct classes to graduate on time and stay on the coursework. An OXI advisor is the person who's going to help you find internships and also graduate on time and also help you find a job after graduation. So you always have two people on your back making sure you're successful. Another thing is the Academic Resource Center. This is an ARC. So basically it's free peer-to-peer -peer tutoring on campus. They're going to also double as an on-campus job too for any students that succeed in courses. Another thing as well, residence life. We have six residence halls on campus that offer suite style housing and also have lounges, kitchens, and study areas. Like I said earlier, Aquino is the newest building and usually all students live in Spelman Hall that are first, first year students. You can check us out on, on CMSV admission to check out our virtual tours and you can see what a dorm life uh, looks like at CMSV. Lastly, 60% of our students are residents, while 40% are commuters. Since we're located in the Bronx, a lot of our students that commute come from Queens, uh, the Bronx, the Heights, and also the East, the East Bronx as well. We have two shuttles that work to the one train, four, five, and six trains as well. So that's really, really good for all of our students. Uh, we're also right on the border of, of the Bronx, Westchester, and only 12 miles from New York City. So a lot of our students who either intern or work in the city, they can get there really easily, either by public transportation or the Metro North. Outside the classroom, each year, Mount St. Vincent students complete around 10,000 hours of community service. And undergraduate research is something that we pride ourselves on. Students that are either in psychology majors, biology majors, whatever it may be, usually do research with a professor in their junior or senior year. So if that's something that attracts you, you can definitely email me and I'll give you more information. Uh, lastly, we are Division Three school as well. We have 15 NCAA Division Three teams, volleyball, softball, men's basketball, soccer, whatever it may be, it's available to you. And also, you know, sometimes people may say, I don't want to play a Division Three sport. But the same thing with the motto at the college, we seek the development of the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. So we try to enable our student athletes to pursue excellence, not only in the classroom, but in the arena of competition and their chosen profession. Student life is very vibrant. We have over 40 different student clubs, and you can get involved with anything that, that you want to. So for example, we have CMSV players, anime and video game club, and over five different dance teams on campus as well. And if you want to start a club of your own, all you need is five student signatures and one academic rep. Lastly, if you want to contact us, that's our emails right here. You can explore the mount further with our prospective student hub, and you can meet, meet the team. I'll be your admission counselor reading your applications. And if you need anything else, feel free to email me in the chat. Thank you, guys. Great, thanks very much, Drew. Um, so I'd now like to invite all of our presenters to come back on camera and we have a few minutes for some Q&A before we wrap up. Um, and our first question is, uh, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And I'll ask that our presenters uh, respond in the same order that they presented. So Tiffany, you're up first. Sure. Um, piece of advice I would give for students who are applying and going through this college application process is to trust your gut. Um, you'll know when you're visiting a school or if you go to a college fair, if this is the right fit for you. Um, and to follow that trust when you're looking at other schools and when you're visiting especially, um, you know what's right for you and to trust that. All right, I guess I'll go next. Um, the advice I'm gonna have is if there's an opportunity for you, I'd say one of the most important pieces of advice is to just take it. Right, if any college is a free application, then all it's gonna cost you is time to apply, go for it, do it. You know, explore the options. You never know what that institution is gonna say, right? You need to explore all avenues, see what's the right fit and feel for you, see where the dollars and cents make sense the most, but explore all avenues. It can only cost you time. Uh, for me, I would say, remember that you're not alone in the process. You have counselors at your high school, you have admissions counselors on the other side of the desk, reach out to us. We can help you with questions that you may have. Um, and like Tiffany said, you know, trusting your gut and, and visiting places either virtually or in person is definitely a good piece of advice as well. But yeah, use your resources. I would say uh, take your time, um, you know, don't rush into the process. So even if you see most of your friends are actually like, you know, you know, looking at colleges or even like committing at colleges, take your time, um, look, look around, um, you know, get and sometimes get out your comfort zone. Um, because, you know, you'll usually find other things, you know, if you're used to one area, you know, try to look at other schools in a different area. Um, and just, you know, just be bold. 
Yeah, guys, all this advice is awesome. I would probably say to make a pros and cons list for every school you go to, right? You want to make sure that you visit every college that you're applying to. So right now, if you have a crazy long list, that's awesome. But you can utilize Naviance, which is a really great platform um, that kind of can just narrow down your search. And then you want to visit and then you want to apply. Everything kind of merges together, right? You can go to us and then you can go to St. Joseph's and then you can go to St. Bonaventure and be like, what was that Mount St. Mary? And like, you forget, right? So write it down. Um, and then another thing I would say is to merge maybe an email with, with mom or dad or a guardian so they can kind of help filter out some of the emails that you're going to be getting and they can just help you with this process since it is a little bit overwhelming. I would definitely recommend go visit. Go visit the colleges. We're excited to see all of you. Go take a campus tour. Uh, go to open houses. We have tons of open houses this entire fall. So go, go get a feel of what the college is really like with students on campus. I think that's so important to the experience because obviously you're going to spend the next four years there uh, as a student. So why not go there, get a feel for what it is, and also bring your parents or guardians with you as well because they're, they're going to have to feel comfortable with you at whatever institution that you go to. So go get a feel for campus. And at the end of the day, you're looking for the right fit. So wherever college you go to and it truly feels comfortable to you, that's more than likely going to be the place that you go to school for the next four years. Excellent. So our next question is, uh, what is something that you want students to remember about your school? I would say one thing that if you were going to take it away from this presentation and from all the other presentations that you might see today um, about St. Bonaventure would be that we are all about community. Um, so during those first few years, first few weeks on campus, um, we have a lot of support systems in place for you um, throughout your whole entire college experience, but especially during the first few weeks when you're transitioning to college. Yeah, for St. Francis College, it's definitely uh, you know, creating that learning environment where everyone belongs. And I got to experience it firsthand. You know, just having faculty that help mentor me to the person I am today is something that I wouldn't trade for anything in the world, right? That personalized approach. And I hold that dear to my heart. Uh, for St. Joseph's, I would just say that, you know, we're a small, very, um, it, we have a very small nurturing community. Um, you certainly feel that when you're on campus. I know a lot of us have kind of voiced that about our, all of our schools because our schools are all pretty similar. Um, and that's why it's really important for you to kind of visit each school individually. But um, I say that that's definitely a big factor of our campus is that we've got a very uh, strong community feeling on campus. I'm so sorry I got disconnected. Uh, what was the question? I'm sorry. One thing you'd like students to remember about your institution. Um, we're a big family. Um, I, I Stack was not my, honestly, Stack was not my first choice because it is close to home. It is only 15 minutes away from my house. And um, I decided to actually have the full uh, dorming experience, uh, well, college experience, and I actually decided to live on campus. And literally in a blink of an eye, I made so much friends and made so much connections with not only, you know, my classmates, but with um, also my professors as well. I think I would just share from Mount St. Mary that it's totally normal to not know what you wanna major in, right? You guys are like 16, 17 years old. So it's normal to not know right now. And I think sometimes the fear of starting college is not knowing and that's normal. Um, so at the Mount, we're, we're gonna help you find your interests even if you don't know what that is yet. Um, and then also when you graduate, you are welcome to always come back to our career center and we can help you find a job no matter how old you are after you graduate. I think for the College of Mount St. Vincent, I want you to remember opportunity. So the College of Mount St. Vincent is a Hispanic serving institution and also a minority serving institution. We know students are going to higher education at a higher rate now, and we know we, we're, we have to be a place that can serve those students. So I definitely want you to remember opportunity with CMSV and how much scholarship and financial aid we give to our students. Please remember 100% of our students receive some type of scholarship and financial aid. We wanna give this opportunity to these students. Excellent. Thank you all so much. Um, so that wraps up our session. A big thank you to all of our presenters. Thank you to our audience for joining us. Uh, when you close the window, there will be a link to a very quick survey. We do appreciate your feedback. Please do sign up for additional sessions that are happening as part of this college fair. 
um, and a recording of all sessions will be available at strivescan.com slash SFP. Thank you all so much and have a great rest of your evening.